big round of applause for Mr. Ben Rice, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Thanks, Thanks so much for that, Raj. Oh my god, what a wonderful introduction. You guys don't know me at all. I'm very sorry. So let me tell you one thing about me real quick. I was voted most likely to succeed in my high school. Yeah. In a class of 32. In North Dakota. But my classmates did not know because I was not born and raised. I didn't know. In first grade, when they asked you, what do you want to be when you grow up? I answered, I'd like to be a police officer, please. And my teacher's like, that's adorable, Ben. Why do you want to be a police officer? And with my first grade brain, I said, because they don't die. Like, no, Ben, police officers die, like, all the time. Like, never mind. I'd like to be a firefighter, thank you. Like, Ben, that's so sweet. Why do you want to be a firefighter? Because they don't die. Like, no, Ben, firefighters also die. Oh, they're probably more than cops, we're going to be honest about it. They probably die more than cops. Like, than nothing. I don't understand the point of having a job. I don't get to be immortal. I don't want any of that. And I was voted most likely to succeed. And now I'm 32 years old and I do stand-up comedy, and in a good month I make like 20 bucks and get three or four free beers. But they also live in North Dakota, so I win. Yeah, most successful. I actually stopped doing comedy for a few months, I just came back into it. I actually went out of the world to find myself as a person, to become one with the universe. I even found a way to rid myself of all of my earthly possessions. This is, of course, a long way of saying, I got robbed recently! <laughs> I've actually been robbed three times in my life. I once got robbed twice in 25 days. <coughs> then I moved out of Arden Arcade. <laughs> <laughs> and I stayed away for three years. Then for some reason I came back, and I was there for <laughs> one day! <laughs> One day they got me again! It's like they recognized my face, like, is that motherfucker back? <laughs> Does he have new shit? <laughs> I'm taking it, that's mine now! <laughs> I'm so tired of getting robbed, you guys. I've redesigned my entire living space to avoid being robbed. Now, in my living room, it's just yoga mats and dare posters. <laughs> Come on in, guys, it's a drug-free hippie living here. All the kombucha you can drink, enjoy it! <laughs> yeah, but then back in the bedroom, that's where the magic happens, right, ladies? Back in the bedroom, that's where my high-priced electronics are. And what I did there is I carved the word nips in the back of everything. These criminals were raised right, they respect dibs. So like, oh, he has dibs? I know he has dibs. I know he has dibs, I never want to never come in here. But just in case that motherfucker doesn't have manners, I also lick everything before I go to work in the morning. It's mine. It's mine. I'm trying to get it robbed. Anybody here hate their jobs? Yeah. yeah! Yeah! I hate my job too. My favorite thing to do at work is to complain about work. Whenever I do that, there's always some asshole who comes up like, Hey man, you should just be happy you have a job. And that guy doesn't understand how happiness works. <laughs> like, you don't understand, man. When I go home, I'm gonna drink myself to sleep to avoid the nightmares I'm gonna have about coming back here in the morning. <laughs> this job is terrible. The one nice thing about my job, though, is it didn't let me buy a Prius. Yeah, I get enough to buy a Prius, a used Prius. I'm really happy about it. So I feel like I'm gonna meet the girl of my dreams by accident because I have this Prius. It's like, ooh, that guy drives a Prius? That's very attractive to me. He cares about the environment. He seems like a very good person. I want to be in love with that guy. But you guys, I didn't buy this Prius for the environment. I bought it for comedy. So like I said, there's not a lot of money in it. I got to cut corners wherever I can. And she's like, damn, that's a nice Prius. Is that a used Prius? He is financially responsible. He paid exactly what it's worth. He lost no money when he drove the lot. This guy is impressive. We're going to have a house and kids. It's going to happen. And I'm going to fall in love with her too, you guys. We're going to fall in love. We're going to get married. I'm gonna get down on one knee, like, babe. Before it was even me, just me. Then, it was me in this car. But, baby, that was pre us. 
That's a long way to go for a really shitty Prius pun, I agree. I had to get hypothetically married for that joke. Was it worth it? Absolutely. We're gonna get married, we're gonna have a ton of kids, you guys. A ton of kids. Like when you see a Mormon at the grocery store, like, damn, guy, leave that girl alone! That's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. I'm gonna buy a house, we're gonna keep having to make additions to the house to fit all the kids we have. We're gonna destroy all the forests in the world to build this house! I'm gonna buy a fleet of minivans that use up all the oil in the world. I'm gonna use all the food you don't get to eat. You don't get to eat. Your friends and family don't get to eat. Everyone you love and adore is dead because my family's got to eat. I didn't buy this Prius for the environment. I want it for comedy. <laughs> Which, by the way, I would no longer do in this scenario because you're in love. You don't get to have dreams anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back to my shitty day job. I'm gonna love it. Get away from those monsters for a few minutes. I'm gonna hear somebody talking shit about work. I'm like, hey man, you just be happy you have a job. I'm gonna become everything I hate because I bought this goddamn Prius. Thank you guys, that's my time. It's been right. Have a good night.